We've called this series Passive Investing Theory, but actually the passive approach is based less on theory than on mathematical fact. One of the key discoveries in its evolution was made by a mathematician born in this street in Birmingham in 1822, who as far as we know had no interest in investing whatsoever. His name was Sir Francis Galton, and the discovery in question is the wisdom of the crowd, the way in which the view of a group of people is generally more accurate than the view of an individual group member. Related to it is regression to the mean, the tendency of distributions to collect around the mean or average point. Proponents of passive investing say both phenomena are observed in global stock markets. In simple terms, millions of investors independently estimate the value of a particular stock by agreeing on a price. The Austrian economist Friedrich Hayek attached particular significance to prices, which for him were the result of the combined wisdom of every market participant. In his Nobel laureate lecture in 1974, Hayek said, We are only beginning to understand how subtle and efficient is the communication mechanism we call the market. Frederick Hayek saw stock prices as providing important information. He saw information as being reflected in the price uh, immediately and that would act as a guide to investors. What he saw prices as reflecting was the diverse opinion of investors encapsulated in, in one sort of number. Building on Hayek's insight, Eugene Farmer, an economist at the University of Chicago, developed what he called the efficient market hypothesis in the early 1960s. The efficient market hypothesis is basically saying that the price of a security represents the, the, the value of that security in the marketplace and that all the information that's available to investors is already priced in the price. And so that's the best guess that the market can make of, of, of what the price actually is. If you believe that in its extreme form, you, uh, there should be absolutely no scope for an active manager to beat the market because the market's right. There are three different versions of the efficient market hypothesis. The weak form asserts that all historic market data are fully reflected in the price of a particular stock. In other words, technical analysis of past trends and so on is of no use in predicting future price movements. The semi-strong form asserts that all publicly available information is fully reflected in the price, i.e. fundamental analysis of a stock's intrinsic value is of no use to a speculative investor. And the strong form asserts that all information is fully reflected in the price. In that case, not even insider information is of benefit. Many have questioned the details of farmers' analysis, and even among those who advocate passive investing, there's debate as to how efficient certain markets are. But the essential truth of farmers' theory remains. Indeed, now that so much information is made freely available, and at the same time, there's an argument for saying that some markets are more efficient than they've ever been. Mm -hmm.